Something like that. And um, what uh, team were you working on, Tyler? I'm on team two, the X axis. Okay. And um, how did it go? It's going good. We have some few hiccups because of fitment and placement and belts rubbing, but we're trying to figure it out now. It's you're always gonna have problems when you're going in the There's mm -hmm. just no way to work it. Mm -hmm. What was the hardest uh, challenge you guys met, um, trying to get it all together? I would say just communication between everybody, trying to get everybody organized, working on different things, making sure we have the design set so that we can get things done in a correct order so that we don't have jams at the end. Um, do you think you'll use this when you uh, go out in the real world? Yes, definitely. I mean, it's just a crew project. You have to work together. You don't, it will mess everything up. Plus, problem solving, getting things done on time, ready for other steps. Olivia, and where are you from? Ruskin, New York. Okay. Um, now, you've been helping out in this project on what team? Uh, I've seen one, the Z-axis. So you actually had the hardest um, per part of the project, didn't you? I guess so. <laughs> okay. How did it go? It went pretty good. Yeah. What, um, what did you learn? Uh, how to use all those tools and machines. <laughs> okay. Like what? Um, mills and... Uh, and stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you going to do with all this information? Apply it to what I want to do for my career. Which is what? Uh, I want to open my own woodworking business, so it helps with the manufacturing process. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you.
What's your name? Vincent Mendetti. Okay, where are you from? Fabius Pompey. Fabius Pompey. Okay, local boy. All right. Yep. Um, what uh, team were you working on? Uh, group two, or team two. Uh -huh. We did the X axis. Okay. Uh, how did that go for you? Great, great. We uh, used SolidWorks and Mastercam to develop the prototype. Mm -hmm. We first made it out of PET, and then um, we tested out the PET model, and after that we made it. Okay. Cool. What was the biggest um, problem you guys ran into? Um, probably um, we thought it was going to work, like in SolidWorks you can test it out, but then when you actually try to make it work, um, it's not exactly what you thought it was, you know what mm -hmm. I mean, things aren't, they don't fit like you thought they would, so you gotta, you gotta just give it that little tweak, but I'm amazed at SolidWorks, it can, you know, do a lot of the work. Oh, now I will, uh, just to give it a little support. Do you think you're going to use any of this when you oh, when yeah, you leave yeah, here? What do you it. like? Um, I'm going to be moving to California in, in the fall, and I plan on doing master cam work and solid work. So definitely a lot of design work like this. So. You guys have your uh, teams on there? Yep, got all our names engraved on there. Everyone's got a different font. So, with all that experience, do you feel like you learned anything from this project at all? I do, I definitely do. Uh, definitely learned how to work at, as a mechanical design engineer instead of just me. <laughs> Yeah,